Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in today's video we're going to be putting the Luby 570 watt hour portable power station to the test. We're going to go ahead and power up all the different ports. We're going to try it on a portable heater and an air compressor at the same time. And then we'll go ahead and test out all the different functions. And at the end, we'll go ahead and give this a Random Fix score so you can make a better decision for yourself. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here. So today we have the Luby portable power station and the manufacturer at Luby sent me this to try out and so I'm going to give you guys my honest feedback today and we're going to try out some different components and at the end of the video we are going to go ahead and give this a random fixed tool grade so you can make a decision for yourself. So let's talk a little bit about this unit right here and so the unit came pretty well packaged up came in a nice box protected by styrofoam and it's got this nice handle weighs about 16 pounds on here you could easily lift it with your hand and on one side we got looks like a exhaust vent back's completely covered and the other side has an exhaust vent as well to keep everything nice and cool and we have a power button right here so when you turn on the unit you can see that even in broad daylight we have a nice, very easy to understand screen. And we are currently charged at 97%. And we have a couple of different ports on the right, right here. So these are the USB ports. And so it's got a USB-C out. And this is only for output. You cannot charge it through this port. I have seen other power stations where you can actually go ahead and charge it and charge devices from it. Those are bi-directional. This one is not. So I have a spare device here and we're going to go ahead and plug this in and we're going to try out some of these different ports and I'll let you guys know how it does. So the very first port right here is charging it and we can see that currently it's charging but it's not rapid charging or fast charging. So this port and the upper port are just regular chargers and we can see that the Qualcomm 3.0 port right here is actually going to be a fast charger. That's great. And let's go ahead and try out that 60 watt USB-C to see how that does. And this 60 watt USB-C is a great port because you can charge a lot of the newer laptops off it. And you can see that is actually a fast charging port. And you have 60 watts out of here. So if you have a newer Windows PC or a MacBook, you can go ahead and use this as a charger. Then down here, we have two AC ports, which is alternating current, your regular household plugs. And these are rated at 700 watts continuous, 1000 watts max combined. So you can go ahead and put 200 watts here and 150 watts here, and you shouldn't have any problems. We're going to go ahead and try it out using that heater and also the air compressor right now so this is the heater right here that I use on my 24 state trip and I did not have to turn on my big diesel heater in the sprinter van behind us so let's see how that does we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and currently it's consuming 284 watts and as the unit stabilizes it'll drop back in the 200 watt range and we can use one of these watt meters to go ahead and see if the display is actually accurate once it stabilizes all right so the unit has stabilized at 203 watts let's go ahead and plug this really quick plug it into our watt meter And currently we can see that we're using 198 watts on this meter and the display here is showing 205 so we're off about three to five watts and that's pretty acceptable to me and now let's go ahead and plug in that air compressor and see if the unit's going to go through off any fault codes and before we throw the compressor on here i just want to show you guys you guys can go ahead and run devices as you hook it up to the 95 watt charger that it comes with so it comes with the charger the cable and also a car lighter adapter like that so you can charge it in the vehicle and lastly 
a owner's manual and I wish it came with a few more accessories like a few of these ports right here these are five and a half by 2.2 millimeter ports I'll have a link to them in the video description down below so currently we are taking in 91 watts putting out 192 and it would be about 4.2 hours till this unit is completely empty because currently we're putting out more than we're taking in and so that's actually a nice thing so you don't have to go and unplug everything in case you are charging your phone on it you can run the charge for the phone while you're charging the unit so that makes it kind of cool so you can hear the fan on the unit is somewhat on and now we're really going to put this to the test so now just for the sake of quality we got the phone running we got the heater running we're putting out about 260 six watts and we're going to go ahead and turn on the compressor and we're going to run this all the way to capacity okay so the compressor just turned off the heater still running phone is still charging got to 100 percent capacity and no hiccups and that was pretty cool we got into about the 450 range as far as the wattage out and everything was good and now let's go ahead and try out the actual car adapter to see how that works out okay so i got the unit plugged in here and i'm going to go ahead and try out the car charger now and it's going to go into that same port the only way of actually charging this unit is going to be this port over here this is the output for the cigarette lighter. So if you have a refrigerator that's 12 volts, you can go ahead and run up to 10 amps through here. So most refrigerators will work through there. I always recommend getting a chest style freezer if you can because it's a lot more energy friendly. And we can see that the unit is currently taking in about 78, 81 watts. So the charge time in the car is actually pretty quick. That's pretty surprising. Most units take in about 30 to 50 watts. So this unit is taking a little bit more, which is great. And if you wanted to hook up to a solar panel, you would use the same exact port right here. And the connector on this is a five and a half by 2.2. And I'll display that on the screen. And I'll have a link to it in the video description box below. And you can buy a 10 pack of them and basically make your own cables and stuff. It's pretty cool if you want to go that route. And the last thing that we're going to cover on this unit right here is going to be the lights. So the lights are pretty nice. It's actually got five different modes. So it's got a SOS, it's got a strobe, and then it's got this last one right here. This is called the breathe mode and it just keeps going up and down. And as you can see the buns right here actually light up when you're using it. And to turn it off you would just hold it down. And the same thing for the DC. 12 volt right here it lights up and then the AC ports you can turn off as well and if you leave the unit idle for a long time it will go ahead and turn off by itself so you don't have to worry about a dead battery so that makes it pretty nice and convenient hey guys this is my favorite part of the video this is where I'm gonna go ahead and give this a random fix tool grade so you can make a better decision for yourself so this unit is going to get a 53 out of 100. And so if you're in the market for a sub $500 unit to go ahead and power up your weekends, this might be a great unit for you. I wish it included a lithium iron fast rate battery just because it will last a little bit longer. A wireless charger up here for your phone to have a completely flat surface. It would work. Bi-directional USB-C would be fantastic. That way we could go ahead and charge it from here and here. And while you're at it, go ahead and throw in a few of the accessories because shipping is already free. You can include it in the unit and it would make this a better choice when it comes down to power stations. So I appreciate you guys watching the video. If the video was helpful, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it would mean the world to me. And we'll see you guys on the next video. If I find any coupon codes or better deals, you're going to go ahead and see those in the video link down below and have a great day. Thanks.